Yo, what is up guys, Smoothie here, bringing you a Medal of Honor Warfighter commentary. Uh, this is one of my earlier games when I was playing, and I did pretty well. I don't know exactly know the final score, because this is just kind of a segment from the game. Because these games do tend to last anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. So yeah, that's kind of just background. Um, and this is just going to be a commentary on my thoughts of the game, because this is a game that... I definitely wasn't looking to pick up, and uh, I guess I'll just do a review of it right now, just kind of a quick, you know, kind of overview of my thoughts on it, which is what I just said 30 seconds ago, so I don't know why I just said it again, but anyways, Medal of Honor Warfighter Beta came out uh, today, or October 5th, I'm doing the commentary on October 5th, but you guys probably won't watch it till the 6th, or the 7th, or the 8th, or the 9th, or the 10th, or anything like that. And originally, I was not thinking of buying the game, or pre-ordering it, or even buying it for that matter, because I was so disappointed with the first Medal of Honor, because that shit sucked ass, and this definitely, um, definitely takes the cake for being an absolutely terrible game, and I'll get kind of right into that. So the first real problem I have with this game is that it is clunky. It is extremely clunky. Just like the original Medal of Honor, just like every Battlefield game on the Xbox. <clears throat> it runs at 30 frames per second, which just does not cut it. Um, it just it just doesn't feel right. Uh, the gameplay isn't smooth, and oftentimes uh, I it seems like you get bullshitted out of kills just because uh, the controls are kind of clunky. And it's not just the smoothness of the actual game. Everything is clunky. The in-game menu is extremely hard to navigate not so much clunky but just there's so many little options that you have to do and you have to press there's so many little buttons and all this it's just a bit much um, and it's really hard to get through I mean when I was first playing when I first played the game or when I first downloaded it, I was like what the hell is all of this how do I how do I choose my gun how do I change guns and it's just kind of, that's just a small pet peeve. I mean, obviously, it's not like, oh my god, I can't buy this game. Uh, it's got a bad menu. Um, but it's just kind of one pet peeve that I have. Uh, another thing that I don't really like about this game is the fact that the spawns are absolutely downright terrible. Um, and this is actually a really good streak I go on right here just to, just to, just to inform you guys. I get like an Apache pilot kill streak, which... I've personally never seen anyone get, and I thought it was pretty cool, even though I didn't get any kills in it, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I'll talk about it when I get up to it, when I earn it, or whatever. Um, another thing I have a problem with this game, obviously, is the spawn system. Uh, I spawn, and en the enemy spawn constantly. They spawn behind me, I spawn behind them. Just a whole clusterfuck of enemies and teammates spawning in one spot. Uh, it's really just a terrible, terrible system they have going on here. Especially with this game type and this map. Um, I like the idea of the game type, but it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't suit this game well. Um, it really doesn't. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it as far as like the spawns. The spawn system is just straight up bad. It's just, nah, I don't know. I mean, stuff like that. Shit. Uh, one thing I do like about this game, though, is the different classes. They have a whole bunch of different classes, each with different abilities. Um, I mean, really, most of the abilities are pretty much totally useless, other than maybe... I've only tried out maybe three or four, but two of them are definitely very good. And one of them right here is the signal scan, and this is on the Canadian Spec Ops person or whatever. Um... And this is the class. This is the class I would definitely suggest. This is probably the best class in the entire game. So the weapon I'm using right here, I forgot what it's called, but it is ridiculously good. I mean, it's a very high rate of fire, good iron sights, in case you don't like the red dot. Um, and it has a good amount of stopping power and has good range and accuracy and all that good stuff. But what really makes this class so good is the signal scan, which you'll see me use constantly because it's so good. And pretty much what it does is when you press up on the D-pad or whatever, yeah, up on the D-pad because it's only on Xbox, um, you can see the outlines of enemies, and it only lasts for like two seconds, so it's not really overpowered, but it kind of just gives you a good understanding of how you should play and stuff like that. So 
Uh, this is definitely a class I would go for. I made the mistake of unlocking an absolutely garbage class that had like the G3 on it, and that gun was just garbage. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and another problem I have with the game is just that the HUD is too freaking crowded. It's just ridiculous. There's too much going on in the HUD. Um, you've got your health and your ammo and your minimap and your kill feed. And then you've got the objectives up top. You've got whatever that stuff up in the left is. That's the uh, kill streak thingy or score streak or whatever. And then you've got the beta on the bottom. And I generally like to scrunch in my HUD because it makes it a lot easier to focus on stuff and you don't have to look across your entire TV. Um, but obviously that didn't work out for me too well here. Um, just because it's so freaking crowded. And right there I earned the Apache Pilot. And it both of the options, if you look on the top left, it only lets me choose one op. Like both of them are Apache Pilots. And it looked like I had a gunner in the pilot, which you'll see coming up. And I use it once I can respawn. And that's another thing, the spawns, eh. They change the way you can squad spawn on people. You can't spawn on someone who is in uh, in battle. And here goes the uh, the gunner. So pretty much in the while you're in the, uh, in the pilot seat, you can shoot missiles. And what, I'm not the one shooting right here the one that's shooting all the little the minigun or whatever um, you'll see me whenever the ammo in the bottom right goes down that's when I shoot so I'm guessing one of my teammates just decided to freeload off of my chopper and spawn in there I don't really know um, but I'm getting shot at right here and I was just kinda clueless cuz these this map is like it's so hard to see people on especially if you're up in this chopper I mean I was like what the hell's going on where is everyone um, I don't know, I don't think I even get one kill on this, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, yeah, it didn't last too long, and oh, I guess I'll extend the gameplay a bit. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much just my thoughts on the game. Not very good, definitely not going to buy it. I would definitely suggest you guys not buy it either, but if you have an Xbox, you can make that up for yourself. Um... Yeah, that's kind of it, I guess. Was there anything, any other points I wanted to talk about? Yeah, um, this game, I don't know. I just don't have fun playing it. I mean, I want to play it just because it's new and it's refreshing, but even when you don't have fun with a game after it just came out or after you just started playing it, you know it's bad. Like, I could have fun. I had fun playing Modern Warfare 3 for the first couple months, or like first two or three months, and that game is terrible, but um, this game, I haven't even played it for three hours, and I'm already hating it, and I don't want to play it anymore. Um, I don't know if it's the map, I'm thinking it must be the map, because that map is just downright garbo, I mean I'm constantly getting shot in the back, all, all this good stuff, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I wanted to talk about. You expect more gameplay. I don't know how long I'm going to play it because I'd much rather be playing Borderlands 2 than this pile of dog poo. But just my first thoughts. I have one more gameplay I think that I can post. It was average. Uh, definitely nothing amazing, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, that was the commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed. And actually, if you guys... I'm going to have a new system for how I do things, and if you're already on my new channel, then you don't have to listen to this at all, but if you're on the, if you're watching this on the Cod Academy, um, I moved channels, I now have a new channel, and I would greatly appreciate it if you go sub, I'm posting this on both, even though I said I wasn't going to post on this channel anymore, just because this channel is constantly getting new subs, and... Um, I don't want people to just be stuck there like, okay, I subbed to this channel, but he hasn't posted anything in like three or four weeks or anything like that. So just wanted to inform you guys that I have moved channels. Uh, if you want to go sub there, that'd be very cool. Um, but anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.